Okay. Let's uh, administer the oath to him. Sure. Raise your right hand. Madam Clerk, if you could administer the oath. Do you swear or affirm that the evidence you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay. All right, you may proceed. I came here today to see your face again. It might be the last. So let us make this right. Would it not be proper to say our last goodbyes? It looks like we hit a fork in the road, and it seems that I can only fit on the path on the right, but you were left with the left one. Some might wonder why I came to see you again. A lot, a lot of people do not like what you did to me. Why I come back? Well, it's because behind this monster of madness, guilt, anger, and wrongdoing, I see a soft spot. I see what you truly are. I know that hiding in the darkness of fear and blame, there's true fatherly love. In the exact same spot, there's nurturing. <laughs> I believe that it can still be activated. We just need to excavate the corrupted parts of your heart. Most people think that I am sensitive when it comes to talking about you. That is true and false. I do want to talk about you. That's because I still love you. And I'll always love you. Until the end of my days. I just wanted to say that I wish you never, think, you never did the things you did to me. And it was just, and I think that it was just a long dream. I wish I want to say that you never left. With when every day passes since we last made contact, I feel like everything is slowly taken away from me. I want to say I miss those brown eyes. I miss knowing what you're doing. I also miss knowing how your day has been. I keep on thinking about you, whether I'm in a good mood or not. When I said was fam I was family, I was something I really meant. I just wish you the best. I want to say that you are everything I needed all along. But Baba, I want you happy whether or not it's with me. I wanted to be with you, but that's something I wish I really meant. Right now you're facing heavy consequences, but I have something that I cannot change. My father was a good person who just really made a really serious mistake. He was not a bad parent. He worked in the medical field when I was a young age. We went, we went all went on, went on to out of country vacations such as Canada and France. He had a lot of friends. He had a positive impact on those around him. But we got to remember that a mistake was made and trauma lasts. It could burn through people's brains, souls, hearts, and destroying everything in its path. It creates pain. It creates suffering. It creates hate. And the last thing I want to do is hate. A lot of people dislike you because of your actions, and some have feelings of hatred. However, I still love you, and I will continue to love you for the rest of my days. <laughs> Bye.
but how do I feel about you? I feel sad. I feel sympathy. I feel hope. But most importantly, I feel forgiveness. Other people may not think that, but I do. In that, I hope you can gather yourself and try to follow up on the consequences of your actions. Just remember that I'm still, still your son, no, no matter what. And always remember that I'm still a ferreter. And Judge Co Coates, I wish you could sentence my beloved father, Tim, six months jail time, five years probation. And I have, and true mercy is not just from the heart. It's the will of the victim to accept mercy that he has received for his wrongdoings. Thank you. And our next, I have a victim impact statement from Dr. Waller, and she's on Zoom. Okay. 